Hello. Today we will talk about one of the key competences of a researcher, namely the ability to write scientific article. This topic is so vast and important that we will devote several lessons to its study and will be result oriented all the time. As you understood from the previous lecture, research is very scientific field has its own specific. I hope these lectures help you write and publish an article in your specialty and thus meet the requirements for a master's degree. By the end of the lecture, you will know the structure of a scientific article, you will understand the main challenges related to the writing of scientific article in English and how to get help. You will be able to prepare the brief review in your field of research. Why is it so important to publish scientific articles? If you look at Wikipedia for the term of publisher perish, you can better understand this. By the way, the earliest known use of the term in the academic context was in 1928 journal article. Publish or perish is an aphorism describing the pressure to publish an academic work in order to succeed in academic career. Successful publications bring attention to scholars and their sponsoring institutions, which can help contribute funding and their careers. Funding is good, isn't it? Career development is also important. But if your research is poor, none of it is ever going to happen. Let's take a look at the true motivation. As you already know, any research plan addresses four important questions. What do you intend to do? Why is it this work important? What has already been done? How are you going to do the work? So, when the study is completed, you can to declare, my work is relevant and novel, and I would like to show my priority in this area and share my findings with other researchers and get their feedback to continue my research and provide other scientists with my feedback. And you start to work on the manuscript the so-called paper, that is the document that you are going to submit to the journal. Of course, the requirements of different journals to the structure of the manuscript may differ slightly, but the main components of any scientific work, articles, conference presentation, and your master thesis are always the same. Let's start with the title. Your title should be specific clear and concise. You must be able to communicate effectively the main idea that your paper focused on, with an eight character limit. Then you have provide names of the authors, author's affiliation, addresses, email of a corresponding author. The abstract is going next. It has to be properly structured, i.e. answer the four questions. What was the aim of the study? How did you approach it? What were the main results? What is your contribution to science? You should try to limit and avoid the use of strange abbreviations and acronyms. In my experience, it's best to prepare your final abstract after you have finished your work, because this part is very important. Each researcher will first look at the abstract to make a decision to read your full article or not. Keywords must accurately reflect the content of the manuscript and correspond to the title of an article. Then PAQS, if it is necessary, as we talked about last week. Introduction. An adequate literature review has to be provided in this section. The processes closest to what described in the present work should be briefly reviewed. The review should end with a gap sentence, which clearly states what has not been published in the past, neither by other groups nor by authors, and presumably will be done in the present work. There should be a clear statement of the research hypothesis and aims. Material and experiment methods. You should first briefly describe the material used, then exactly the experiment, and the, the end, the statistic used, preferably internationally recognized tests and software. This is necessary to meet the criteria of reproducibility needed for scientific publication. This part must be presented in such a way that any other scientist should be able to exactly repair your work 
and obtain the same results as you did. It has to be described clearly, step by step, from the beginning to end. You have to use SI units only. If any animal or human test were performed in your research, you were required to have permission and indicate this. Results and discussion. It is advisable to divide this section into separate results and discussion sections. The lessons, the chances of mixing facts, i.e. results, with interpretation, speculation, and extrapolations. In many cases, it will be best to present all the results in a separate results section, and then, after the facts are on the table, to interpret these results in a separate discussion or speculation section. It is usually important to acknowledge alternative viewpoints and to reference them. Do not forget about your hypothesis and accordingly specify your results. Conclusions. The title, body, and conclusions should be tightly coupled. Conclusions must be based on the results presented in the paper and cited references. Remember that the abstract and conclusions are two different things. You have to use other expressions to show the co correctness of your hypothesis, the importance of your results, and your contribution to science in general. Acknowledgements. You have to specify the grant number and its title and or the names of scientists to express your gratitude. You can see the example here. According to the demand, the Science Committee of the Minister of Education and Science of the Republic of Kazakhstan, such acknowledgments must be provided for every publication on the project with state funding. The article should have enough references from the past five years to show the relevance of your research. Avoid citation er errors. Be sure to include relevant publications that are important to this area. Be sure to include some contemporary international uh, reviews and articles. Specify digital indicator if necessary. The number in the list of references depends on your article. For research paper, it can be from 10 to 20. For review papers, much more. Be prepared to provide a cover letter, such as the one shown on this slide, and details, uh, details of two or three potential reviews of your paper, including their affiliation and email addresses. Now, let's do a little self-assessment. Task one, take a sheet of paper, close your notice, and write down the main elements of a scientific article as you remember them. Try to keep track of spelling and do not try to cheat. You have one minute to complete the task. You can compare your answers with those in the next slide, correct the mistakes, and evaluate your work on a scale from zero to five. Good luck, the countdown has begun. So, let's check. Title, names of the authors, abstract, keywords, PAQS numbers, introduction, materials and experiment methods, result and discussion, conclusions, acknowledgements, references. Good work. Well done. What do you think will happen to the early career researcher if they are poor articles submitted to the peer-reviewed journals? You can find the answer in the article 10 tips for writing a truly terrible journal article. Publish or perish. In this fun but informative post, editor Bert Blocken highlights some of the major mistakes early career researchers make when preparing and submitting a manuscript to a scientific journal. If you screw up, it might be published and perish. Poor articles, even a single one, can ruin a scientific's career. If you submit a truly terrible article, it might be rejected by the editors or reviewers, in which case the damage will be significant but limited. The worst thing that can happen, however, is that your poor article slips through the review process. 
In this case, when the article is published, it will be digitally archived and will remain visible for the whole world forever. You will have time to read these anti-tips and remember what not to do. However, how to get help when working on the article? Here are some tips. Work closely with your research advisors. Provide them with experimental details and research results you find them to discuss. Search for answers and ask questions on the research gate and other platforms. Read more. Use Elsevier author services. Why? Find the answers on these sites and watch their video. Learning outcomes. You learned about the structure of a scientific article. You understand the main challenges related to the writing of a scientific article in English. You learned about Elsevier author services. And now you are able to prepare a brief review in your field of research. What is going next? Quiz. And the next video that will focus on how to get started on the article. Thank you for watching this video.